There's no way. That's bull. No, of course they're super happy for him. Like, he's been rocking it. You know that they were cheering for him wherever the hell they are. Like, I mean, he played out of his ass. I mean, he threw a couple interceptions, but, you know, it was beautiful. It was. No, he did good. You're crazy. You're crazy. I think he played well. He showed up. He totally deserved that game. Beckham got injured. He still rocked it. Like, that was a good game. Oh, oh, sorry. We're not uh, recapping how great Stafford was in the in the Super Bowl yesterday. Am I allowed to say Super Bowl? <laughs> uh, how's it going, y'all? Uh, sorry to disappoint, but I am not David or Kira. But to try and help represent the shelf turds, I am wearing a, a powerful shade of lipstick. Um, not sure how long I will keep it on because... Good God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and hard to tell. But I'm wearing fake lashes just for you, Kira. Which, by the way, fake lashes are really hard to deal with. This is my second time wearing them. The first time was two days ago when I bought these to try them out. Uh, hopefully the audio is fine. I realize I was slightly muted at the beginning. I am shiny. So shiny. It's a whole new setup. And clearly, I don't have a powder person to put powder on my face for all the lights and all the running around before this got started. <laughs> but all right, let me let me say hi to some people in the chat. Uh, I know shelf turds really like to get as far behind in the chat as possible. But, uh, you know, here we try to to run a real show. That's all like no big deal. So actually, wait, hold on. The other thing the shelf turds really hate doing is drinking their whiskey. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink mine. So I've got a shelf turds Glen. So that'll be the one. And I'm gonna have some Knob Creek 15 here because we all know that David has terrible taste in whiskey. So and doesn't like Knob Creek. And I know this is kind of one of the more controversial Knob Creeks, but I'm not even measuring it. It's insanity. Okay. Now I'm going to drink whiskey, unlike the turds. And I'm going to get into the chat and try not to get insanely behind. We're three minutes in. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> uh, what's up, Gary Franchi? Oh, we, we you got to toast Matt Stafford like every chance you get. So my the mic is under here. Let me know if it's muffled or something. So also when you have a lot of hair, it's it it just adds that much more heat. Hence the shine. <laughs> so here is Matt Stafford to an amazing game. You're an amazing player, and clearly you made the right choice <laughs> in leaving Detroit. If that wasn't clear. So what's up, Independent Joe in the house? He's gonna be the one tracking. We are doing a giveaway today. Um, in fact, ooh, actually I'm really doing a good job at being like the shelf turrets because I keep sort of going away from actually talking to the chat. Uh, but in fact, for that giveaway, what I'm giving away is this year's High West Boo Rye. All right, that's the camera. Oh, nope. Well, I promise it is. The High West Boo Rye. So this is kind of a blend Boo Rye bourbon and rye uh, it's made here in utah and it's officially now state only so and this was actually it's not even at the liquor stores yet we got this at the distillery so this is kind of a distillery release that will be released to this day so that'll be by super chats independent joe is going to track those uh and then the, i'm also going to give away a flight of what i'm going to be doing tonight which is delicious if i may say so uh, and then also a merch giveaway. So, and a patron flight giveaway. So all my patrons are entered already. They already have one automatic entry into the overall giveaway. Uh, and then, so I try to give y'all some kind of perks. So, but then there's also a patron giveaway that I try to do monthly that is based on your tier and how long you've been with me. So, uh, kind of, although somebody just joined today and I don't think I added you. So I, I'll try to remember to add you, <laughs> but okay. Now I will say hi to the chat. What's 
six minutes behind. I feel like I'm rocking the whole turd style so far. So, okay. What's up, my Franklin? Ethan Turk, how's it going? We're Katie. Uh, the better Turk. Are y'all doing something for uh, some sort of holiday or something that's going on? What's up, Lil? Is Australia crazy enough to celebrate Valentine's or do they at least have their heads on straight to get that it's kind of pointless? I mean, like, it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, to me, it's just kind of like somebody else's religion's holiday. It's just, I don't, it doesn't mean anything to me. But if it does to you, more power to you. So, uh, thank you. I can't believe this channel's been around for a year. Uh, I can't believe I've stuck to doing it. <laughs> uh, but kind of cool. What's up? The claws in the house. Oh my God. And super chats are coming in and I don't want to miss them. So I'm going to run through some of these. Slapshot, how are you doing? Keith, I message you today. Uh, there will it will it will not be three hours long. You girls got to work tomorrow, <laughs> and I don't do karaoke, so I message you today about some samples. So uh, the squirrel, I saw that about the squirrel. That was funny. It's funny. She and I both have ADD. I'm wondering if she's got the meds though. <laughs> so we'll take her. You know, I could. I prefer to get straight to drinking my whiskey, unlike some people that normally go Monday nights at this time, but whatever. I am so shiny. I hate it. I'm sorry. Um, lies. Somebody kick this man out. Yes. <laughs> Throwing confetti. I was watching for her to throw a pretzel. I was like, are there any pretzels near her? I hope not. Uh, what's up? Yeah. She's not shiny. What's up, Scott? I know it's an odd night tonight. It's a Monday instead of a Wednesday for me. So thank you. One year. Holy crap. Uh, and I just posted a new video yesterday. So oh, that's my one year video. And that may or may not be in this fight. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> uh, Shimmin up her. Okay. I want to scroll through and get to some of these. What's up, Gather Graves? Mark Basco, how you doing? Uh, and already saw Catherine. Oh, Adam's in here. Oh, it is a little out of sync. Hopefully, it's not staying that way. So, um, oh man, Joe's in the house. I saw. Thanks, Keith. <laughs> Thanks so much. You are entered to win. Well, you already have one entry. Now you've got four more. Uh, so, what's up, Mr. Whiskey Shits? Yeah, the Brewer is like one of two products I actually like from High West. Since most of their good stuff is freaking brine. I mean, who cares? So, um, hey, IC86, Scott Pigsley, what's up? Uh, Tim Corday, how you doing? Happy one year anniversary, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, appreciate y'all, like, a lot. Uh, Boo Rayana, that could work. That could work, maybe. Whiskey Mountains, well, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, hey, teachers in the house, but, but also thanks so much, Rob. <laughs> um, oh, okay, okay, you don't have to. Uh, thanks, good luck, hopefully, never know. Um, where am I located? Really close to High West Distillery, actually. Uh, so I live in Utah, just outside of Salt Lake City. Um, hey, Shayla's here, what's up? How's it going? All right, trying to run through these because of course in trying to get set up and then trying to put on fake lashes and powerful shade of lipstick uh i didn't have time to pour my stuff ahead of time like i had wanted to so i am of course using if, if you've seen me do a flight on everybody's rings i brag about it every freaking time but this gorgeous flight board that was made by my whiskey lab for me and ignore my terrible nails and i love it so of course using that um, Mike Meyer, how's it going? Oh, I haven't used any of the. I think that's real. Oh, you you notice you notice the the sign. I don't know what you're talking about. That's just artwork. <laughs> uh, I may have uh, made some you know quick last minute <laughs> decorations for the set. <laughs> uh, scrolling through, everybody saying hi to everybody. What's up, Dana B? Thank you so much. I'm pretty excited. One freaking year. Thanks. Uh, congrats on one year. Keep doing what you do. We love it. Also, I I have new glasses for everybody who's bitched at me to get new glasses. I don't think I can see any better with them. But I am set up over here because 
thanks to Patreon, Patreon, I got a monitor, like a bigger monitor that's hooked up to my computer. And I have a bigger screen and everything is bigger, obviously. So speaking of, let me actually make the screen bigger. So, um, holds class. Back to this 15 year though, for real. So this is the 100 proof 15 year special release. It is an expensive bottle. This was very much a reward bottle for me for getting monetized. So uh, why are we talking about molecular biology? It's the best. Yes, molecular. Actually, Nick Nick's degree is in biochemistry and mine is in molecular biology. Well, it's in oncological sciences, but uh, my focus is molecular biology since now I do neurobiology. Um, oh, and oh, wait, hold on. I got to say hi to Lizette because she's awesome. What's up? Uh, thanks. This, I'm probably going to wipe this off. It's, it, I, woo, I hate lipstick to begin with, and this is a lot, but trying to channel my, my powerful shade of Kira. <laughs> um, also, I'm not good at applying it, so <laughs> whatever. Everybody loves when Kira tells a story about her makeup, right? That's that's everybody's favorite. Or like doing her hair and having to blow dry it and all that and straighten it and then going to the place. That's that's everybody's favorite part of every show, right? Um, thank you, Scott, for mentioning this. You may have noticed. You might not have. It's fine if you didn't. You're lame. But I'm wearing one of my new shirt designs. I made this design from scratch. I'm super proud of it. These are silhouettes of mountains uh, with pictures I took while I was in the Grand Tetons, so uh, which is one of my videos, check it out. But so this is available at whiskeymountains.com. And also there's another shirt design. Nick has one, so I've got it ready because I'm really proud of these designs. This was it from another picture. Let's see, you can see it. So it's like sunset uh, between the mountain range. I can't do this right. Now nah, everything's backwards. It looks better in person, but uh, it's like sunset between the mountains in the Grand Tetons. So, but silhouetted by Glen Cairns. I think it's kind of cool. So those are both available at whiskeymountains.com. And I have extended sizes. So like everybody is covered. Uh, it's awesome. Why does size matter? Is this a short joke? Are you making a short joke? <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Uh, thanks, Richie Z. Uh, I honestly, like, you're one of the people who made me feel very welcome in the whiskey community long before I started a channel, so thanks. Scott, congrats on one year, although it should have been expected how much your channel has grown in such a short time. Uh, you didn't expect me to not make a short joke, did you? So funny. So if I didn't even realize it was a short joke until you said that, you bastard. Thanks a lot. I'm super tall. I'm standing at a standing desk. This I had to prove it to my patrons, but this really is a standing desk. What do you mean nerd alert? I haven't even made a Star Trek reference tonight. Ooh, hello. I don't know what I, the shirts. I'm very proud of the shirts. I'm going to take it that it's about the shirts. I'm very proud of the shirts. So um, way better than any shirt you would get from Shell Chips, obviously. <laughs> they do have great shirts. Go check out their stuff. It's spreadshirt.com slash shelf I don't know. <laughs> um, taste and sensibility. Congrats on one year, Adriana. Thank you so much. I like sometimes I'm going to say my name the way, uh, you know, Adriana. And then sometimes I'm going to say my name the right way. I never know what I myself am going to do. What's up, Lil? Congrats on the one year anniversary. Time flies when you're having fun. This is extremely true. Oh my God, I just keep catching how shiny I am. <laughs> but it's true. Like, I didn't actually realize that it was my one year until, uh, like, after I had agreed to do this stream today and everything. I was like, oh, what like, should I do? And I'm like, oh my God, like, YouTube, let me know. So it's been nuts. Christine Vasco has it. She even got the pillow <laughs> that has the cool uh, sunset design on it. So like all the cool things. And I mean, while I'm pimping myself out, like why not? I put a lot of work into playing around with that stupid website. You can also get a Hydro Flask style 
not actually hydroplask, but like the metal and it doesn't give a metallic taste. Water bottle, oh, and it's so good. And I hate wearing lipstick. It's the worst, okay. I legit had my cellar water ready. This feels very shelf turds of me to do, to like remove makeup on stream. But I don't know, can you do it without, can you do it without making a mess? Ooh, this is like a new challenge. Oh, so much better already though. I probably made a mess. It's probably a little bit. Ugh. Close enough. <laughs> uh, if that's not shelf dirty, I don't know what is. That can now create 15 years. Oops, and I just wiped it off. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely still kind of there. <laughs> he does. I, I, we, we have different PhDs. My PhD is oncological sciences. His is in whiskey hunting. <laughs> He is very good at it, and thank God, because I hate shopping. Uh, yes, and you can come support me on Patreon. It's fun. I try to do, you know, some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, oh, I can see I'm behind on some Super Chats. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, Patreon's good. Oh, and it helped me get this monitor. That's what I was going to say. Yes, please subscribe. In fact, you should. Like and subscribe. Y'all, this is still the same sign. Somehow, this sign is still going. I don't remember when I did my first live stream, but whenever I did, I made this sign at the last second. And now it is it is a part of legend, Whiskey Mountain's legend, the one year legend. <laughs> so that was just a cover girl. They should make that. Uh, Kara needs to team up with them for that. It's, I mean, it would be better than, you know, a turd shade. So thanks so much, Hinda. Uh, don't be getting in trouble though with the wave. <laughs> so, but thanks, buddy. Doop, doop. Mm -mm. I am gonna start pouring this flight though and uh, let you know. Yes, I'm so glad y'all are liking the, I'm just like so proud of those designs because I am a scientist, not a creative person. So it's like for that to come out, that's pretty cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, now I'm starting to feel like I'm being a bit full of myself, so I'll stop with that. <laughs> uh, thanks! Yummy Chang is here! What's up? Uh, way to go! One year! Isn't that nuts? Thank you, buddy! Uh, and I, I know, I need to work on the other one. Uh, I will make some that have this, but also have the logo incorporated, too. I just kind of like the idea of, like, non-logo things like this just for people who maybe don't watch the channel but just like whiskey and outdoors so ah holy crap congrats on your salu salu Ooh, and i promised that i would be pouring where's my measuring cup there it is y'all knew i was gonna measure right like that was an obvious <laughs> you just don't realize how short all my furniture is uh ah <laughs> Thanks for doing the translation for uh, Infinite Joe, who's tracking to my Knob Creek sister. Uh, you're a legend. Congrats, thanks. It's $10. Basil's makes me seem like a baller. <laughs> Those shirts are dope. You are a baller, but I hear you. Yeah. I remember when I was little and my mom made a uh, reward sign. She'd just gotten back from a trip to Mexico. We're not Mexican. Uh, to be clear, we're Puerto Rican. But she'd just gotten back from a trip and she made a sign of... Where's the other Knob Creek that I was gonna put in here? Oh, I think I forgot to bring it over. Nick, can you grab me a Knob Creek pick? Oh, actually, I'll just put this one, the Log Creek. Boom, because who doesn't just decorate their apartments with Knob Creek picks? Uh, but she made a sign because I lost a stuffed animal and it said like 10,000 peso reward. And I was like, wow, my mom gets how important this stuffed animal is to me. Uh, and then I grew up. <laughs> Well, not up. See, I beat y'all to the short joke. Okay. So let me keep scrolling here. Hey, first timer in the chat. What's up? First timer and you're here for the one year. And for me giving a lot of shit to the shelters. Oh, I feel like the stupid banner, not banner, logo. What if I put that logo? Nope, that doesn't help. And I don't know if I can move it. So yeah, I'm going to get rid Y'all know what channel you're on, right? <laughs> Uh, 
covers up nothing. So congrats. Thanks so much, Jim. That's Jim Morris. He goes on when everybody cancels, basically. Uh, I don't know that you've got like a regular night yet. Oh, perfect night. Clifton, cheers one year. I'm so proud of you and how much you've grown your following and brand this year. Cheers to seven more. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Clifton's one of the best dudes in this community. And he's like, does it on the sly, you know? Like he was super supportive of me starting this channel, um, partly out of, you know, wanting more representation in the community. Sorry, <laughs> trying to talk through these things and poor and clean and poor and clean is complicated. So, uh, but yeah, Clifton's just the best. Richie Z is the most welcoming in the chat. So how far behind am I? Six minutes. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm definitely channeling my, actually kind of channeling the Cheech, AKA Whiskey Encore, uh, but also channeling the turds. Actually, normally they do have their flights already poured. I don't know that they measure their flights though. I'm sure they do. They're they're real whiskey professionals. If you've ever watched the turds. Okay, congrats on being here. I want to try and figure out hats. The problem with the site I use doesn't make great quality hats. Uh, so that is something, but then it would be something I'd have to buy in bulk and ship out myself and ugh, that sounds really hard. So in the world of Sheila. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. She is uh, moving to Portugal, which will be very cool. Sassy Cheers, thanks so much, KG. I hope you appreciated the um, the powerful shade of lipstick. So, hey, Chad's up in here. What's up, Bourbon Rich? Okay, I'm like scrolling. Exactly, exactly. You want to taste the whiskey? I don't know that lipstick actually has a taste. Um, I don't wear it that often, but I, I don't think I've ever actually like tasted it. When I came home, she came me with the fake lashes. Yeah, yeah, the lashes, they don't seem as intense on here, but I feel them, they're, they're, they're too much. They're way too much. Maybe I should have curled them so that y'all could see them better. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm not the person for that. It, it Like I work in a lab with mice half the time, we ain't got time for freaking looking pretty, <laughs> wearing makeup and stuff. Some people do, some people are on top of both things and I don't know how, uh, it, it blows me away. I'm always like honestly legit impressed that anybody has their life that together. Uh, <laughs> what's up whiskey food dude? Uh, Paul, congrats on the one year, cheers. Thanks so much, buddy. We've got some one year. Love you. ah, Trish, Trish is the best. Okay, pour in D. So we are doing a flight tonight. Oh, and by the way, everybody who's uh, donating, who's you know doing these super chats or getting their entries in to, oh, I do have the banner going, look at me, yes. Um, to win either a flight of this or any piece of merch from my website, might I recommend this one? Cause it's, I'm stupid proud of this fucking design. Or, da -da -da -da, a bottle of High West Boo Rye, which is uh, state only now. So, although last year they said it was state only, and I think people were still finding it outside of states. I don't know how that works, but so, oh, Emily Chambers, thank you. She's yet another like amazing person in the community who's just so sweet and welcoming. I freaking love this come here today. It's so awesome. Okay, that was the third of four. And if you think a flight should have five, once you know everything that's in this flight, you will understand why four is a very reasonable amount to have. You know, I mean, unless you want to end up, unless you want to end up, uh, como se dice, having a brownout, like certain people, not anybody from a channel that shall not be named. <laughs> oh, I keep calling them shelter. I'm sorry, also known as whiskeychannel.com. So there, who would normally be on right now, if people have been paying attention, you can see what's in this flight. So, um, don't know if you'll be able to guess the theme of the flight, but, okay, I just wanna catch up on chats and then I'm going to explain the flight. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. 
okay. Okay. Uh, I've got, I don't have a child labor like the turds do, but I do have uh, an ex-boyfriend, as I like to call my husband, <laughs> uh, who gives me signs. So um, not only do we have the burai up for grabs, but just because y'all are amazing and the husband's amazing, basically, and he does all his hunting, we also have an E.H. Tyler, E.H. Tyler, Tyler. Wow, the South Carolina is really coming out now. Okay, an E.H. Taylor small batch. So uh, I, if you need proof, it's not just a tube. We don't keep our tubes, so we wouldn't have that. This real bottle, it's not open. So that is also in the giveaway. Very cool. Oh, thanks, y'all. I'm excited. Okay. Uh, what's up, Dara? Sorry I didn't get to like really watch yours. I was very much running around getting ready in a new area. So exactly, you got to measure for science. Um, but y'all, if you haven't checked out The Average Drinker, she's really great. And she's starting doing live streams now after doing an amazing first one where she raised a shit ton of money uh, for, for the community in Colorado who had lost homes in the fire. So, which is just awesome. So, hey, Mashville, thanks so much. Yeah, Nick doesn't even know my flight. The, uh, sorry, I'm reading your name. Oh, if I, can, I can't like, Emma, I don't wanna make fun of her getting all of her, her words mixed up. I'll be at least nice enough to cure her for that. So congrats on one year. It's crazy how a little over a year ago, we we're just talking about you starting a channel and now look, and now look at you now, Whiskey Tube's most angry Vulcan Hobbit. Here's to a stellar second year. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, and if you don't know, I'm a total nerd and I have done a Vulcan review. Check out the C921 video if you'd like to check that out. So I'm trying to make sure I don't miss, you know, people who like didn't do a super chat. I don't want to be a douche. Um, cool, cool, cool. All right. I am about to explain. Okay, I'm going to have another sip of this because it's delicious. The Knob Creek 15 year. It's only 100 proof, which helps make it easy to drink, but for only being 100 proof, I know, I know, I'm, I'm breaking the shelf towards rule and actually talking about the whiskey. <laughs> but for only being 100 proof, it's it just delivers a really nice amount of flavor. And obviously it's oak forward. Some people find the oak to be too much. I do think there are different releases of it, uh, but it's not like advertised that way or anything. Uh, but I think, the oak is really balanced nicely with the sweetness. It's not too spicy, it's smooth, it's easy to drink, but delivers flavor. And honestly, because of that age, I think the finish just kind of really nicely lingers. So I'm a personal, I mean, I'm biased, I love Knob Creek, but I'm a personal fan of the Knob Creek 15 year. So good, good. Swan, honestly, I should give you a flight. Uh, you should like message for real message me because um, you've definitely hooked me up with some stuff I never would have gotten to try. So um, I have not forgotten that. <laughs> uh, but also thanks for being in, in the chat tonight. So, oh, hey, Dara. What's up, Dara? Cheers, Adriana. And cheers to whiskey and women. Uh, otherwise known as women and whiskey, I'm assuming. <laughs> P.S. The Boo Rye is insanely good. Yes, I'm glad you are enjoying yours. So uh, Nick has been on top of it. Uh, I don't do many flights because I'm completely unorganized. <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit of a, the dirt are whiskey professionals. You know it. How far behind am I? Seven minutes. Okay. Boop. I want to finally get around to explaining what this flight is, but I know I'm behind on some super chats. So what's up? Congrats on one year. Thanks, Don Nishida. Also like a part of the community, you know, when I was starting my channel, just another amazing supporter. Like everybody that's, I, I associate Don Nishida with like the Bourbon Bites community. And it's it's just such, like, it's such an awesome group. You should check out his Discord. I think if you just go to bourbonbites.com, it like, redirects you to it. It's it's very awesome. But thanks, Don. So um oh there we go. Congrats on one yes. Cheers. Cheers.
I see what you did there. I see what you did there, my whiskey lab. Nice one. But you should definitely sub to Calco. He's great. He muses and he's amusing. So, yes, it did go state only as of last year, I think. Um, so, sorry. But like I said, last year, people were finding it outside of the state. So, you know, might still be able to get it without coming all the way to Utah. But Utah is an awesome place. It's very pretty. It's not just Mormons. We have whiskey, too. So <laughs> there's more for us non-Mormons. <laughs> but uh, Jason Busey, what's... Well, it's time for the first middle finger of the night. <laughs> That's to you, Jason Busey. Uh, I, for, I was going to put on fake nails for Kara, too, but I just... Lashes are hard enough, y'all. So, <laughs> Turd Mountains. I I guess tonight that is pretty much what I am, Turd Mountains. We can just take the whiskey out of all of it. <laughs> uh, right, Scott? That's some bullshit. He's Mr. Rodriguez, if you ask me, but whatever. Uh, what's up? Oh, RTZ, this year will be amazing for you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks so much. You know, it's funny. When I started this channel, I had graduated sort of but hadn't like started my job that i'm in now so um kind of cool because this last year has already been amazing for me and i'm excited for this next one so thanks so much it's gone by so fast it kind of has it, it it's a split for me sometimes it feels like it's gone by fast sometimes not so much um congrats on one year love that you've kept the wiley coyote signs i just you know i can't i can't fancy it up that would just be kind of wrong. And I do have a sign actually for this flight. Oops. Uh, trust me, for the sake of all of you, I'm not singing jack shit. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that to the turrets. Uh, uh, you know, they do one thing well. They're capable of doing one thing well. So I'll, I'll leave them that. You know, they can pull out a slide whistle or the world's worst instrument, a harmonica. And, uh, torture us all with that. So I'm going to leave that in their their realm. <laughs> Black Bourbon family's in the house. I'm sorry if I didn't see your first uh, chat, but so cool to see Jason and Brandy here. Love y'all. Um, Eden Turk, congrats on the well-deserved success and here's to the new year. So, um, okay. Yep. I am. It's actually, my screen's big enough for once. <laughs> Next, give me shit. <laughs> As per usual, I never, I'm always so nice. Ooh, mine I recommend just, just totally off the top of my head, maybe some Knob Greek. I, don't, I mean, if you have some, just throwing it out there. <laughs> you like Knob Greek? A little bit, just just a bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to read this one and congratulations on winning here. I want to cheers to me. Thanks so much, Um, So cool in this past year how many of y'all I've gotten to actually meet in person, including this guy. And his awesome wife of Women of Whiskies, which is like the best freaking channel out there, especially my beloved criminals and cocktails episodes. Uh, congratulations. Hashtag I never win anything. Did you just pull a Don Nishida? That's amazing. Okay. I want to tell y'all what. Um, <laughs> and you get a middle finger and you get a middle finger. The day Oprah does that, I that'll be a great day. And she'll have drank too much whiskey. So today's flight, I don't know if you've watched enough shelf turds to recognize this reference, but they have done some episodes that were called Jack Offs. And so today we are doing a Jack Off with Knob. And so for that, we're doing, now I'm like, oh, I should have paid more attention, but I kept everything in order. So we're good. We are doing a Knob Creek pick, and it happens to be ADHD's Lob Creek. So if you have this one, you can drink along. Um, and then another Knob Creek. We're doing an improved order. Uh, so these are going to be the knobs. So this is a Knob Creek 12 cast strength. Oh, normally my camera's like loves freaking focusing for me. There you go. Yeah, beauty. I love this camera. This was my birthday present, that camera. 120.5 uh, proof Knob Creek cast strength. I also have the 124.3. Uh, but for this one, since I want to have enough to give samples out for the flights that y'all might win. And then it's going to be versus, that's for, for the jack off part of this. We've got a Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. I bottle killed the first bottle of this the other day. So this is the new bottle of it. And also my last bottle of JDSBBB. 
And then of course, because I just did the, I just released the review of it yesterday. This is Jack Daniels. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to hold it so that y'all can read it. But of course, the light's making it hard too. Uh, and this is the Koi Hill, of course, that is 139.6 proof. So last year's special release of Jack Daniels. Limited release, special release, whatever. Fancy, stupid term they want to use for it. So, um, boop, boop. So I'm gonna get started on this jack off with Nopli with that love creep. So basically, all I, obviously this isn't blind for me. Um, I'm just gonna rank them, and I'll be honest. Like, if Jack, if if Jack, if, if Knob Creek comes in last, I will be honest about it. Um, they're all amazing for us. So it's like I'm not mad at any of these. They're all freaking delicious. My favorite category, corn. Yes, <laughs> the jack off with Knob category. This is this was designed for you, Clifton. Um, oh, hey, 21090 up in the chat. What's up? Awesome to see y'all here. I'm sure they're going live tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> I did it. That's perfect. See, I'm totally in the spirit of the, the holiday. So, yeah, it's a themed boy. <laughs> Jack off a knob. Well, I mean, what other theme would you use for today's day? <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, I don't have any child labor here, but I'm sure Nick could throw something in my face or something. I'm not eating a bunch of horrible things, though, like raw. Didn't she eat raw onions once? Oh, that was terrible. Oh, no, it's well, you can try to enter in to get uh, one of these flights tonight or a flight tonight. So um, to at least try it. But oh, the Knob Creek 12 cast strength is. So good. I mean, I it wasn't here in Utah. I had to get it through the grapevine, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. I'm putting away my Knob Creek 15 year 100 proof. That is delicious. And I'm going over, I'm going to drink water out of this sexy water bottle. <laughs> Overdoing it much on the merch, Adriana. Uh, Koi Hill is so good. Oh my God. I, so I had some last night after releasing the video and you know how, I don't know if this is the same for y'all, but for me, like, depending on the day, <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> um, depending on the day, like, you know, different whiskeys just are hitting you just right. And like yesterday when I had some Koi Hill, I was like, oh my God, this is just so fucking good. Like, it was better to me yesterday than it was actually when I filmed the review. So it's just so good. Hey, one more glass. Hmm. So I'm, did I miss it or did it just not go through? I feel like I'm gonna miss Thrashlers because it's fading. I can see the little thingy at the top that shows, uh, always up for a $5 jack off. All oh, right. That is, it's, you could win your very own jack off with knob flight tonight. Peanuts and bananas, crazy. Probably two things that don't go well. And I think the order matters. Like this is where the scientist in me gets bothered about blind flights and them not telling you the truth. Because depending on what you ate that day, the fucking weather or whatever, and like what order you drink things, it comes out differently to you. So just because I, that's why I'm not mad if Knob Creek gets in last place on this. Like tomorrow I could do the exact same flight and they could come out in different order. So, okay. Speaking of, this is the Lob Creek. This is um, ADHD Whiskey's Knob Creek pick. We have 69 viewing right now. If that's not the most shelf turrets thing ever, I mean, I'm I'm so sorry I don't have like a boner sign uh for them. I know I know they would want one. So uh <clears throat> okay. Trying out this ADHD one. Mm. 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 While I do that, oh my god, that light. Like and subscribe. This is a brand new setup for me, so I'm also, you know, getting used to it, but <laughs> After winning the big game, hmm, is there like a second pick? I feel like they would want the second. He would want the second pick. Thanks so much, Joe. You brought. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I missed it. That's such a good question. Now I'm like pondering that. What is the proof? So I have both. Oh, 
Oh, no. So I'm also, oh, I probably gave you the 124.3 proof, but I'm actually drinking the 120.5 proof for tonight because I wanted the one that I have enough of to give out samples. So I'm the type of person who nurses her whiskey hardcore. So, hey, Swan was viewer number, hey, uh, was viewer number 69. Kevin O'Queef up in the chat. See, I can make a shelter's reference. <laughs> uh, Sorry, it's just they released the video on the whiskey you sent them today and they commented about that. Also, never take your medical advice in case you were gonna from the whiskey professionals known as the whiskey channel.com slash. Oh, my God, my lashes. are ridiculous. I hate them. Uh, women, why do you do this? What? What did I say? No, I would never. I wouldn't do that to y'all. What did I say? <laughs> um, Dugga. Brain just completely went gone. Bye. Goodbye. I have no idea what the first part of that sentence was. So back to this. Mm. I love this pick. Let me check the age on it. So this is about about 10 years. Like nine and a half. All the Knob Creek single barrels are 120. Oh, it's so good. Like to me, it's very cinnamon forward, but there's just like a really nice sort of richness to it and coating. And it just keeps going, that finish. Oh, it's so good. So, oh, oh man, I love a good Knob Creek. I mean, nobody's shocked by this, but I love a good Knob Creek pick. Love a good Knob. Who doesn't love a good Knob? Especially if it can just go on and on and on like this. Now I'm really channeling my inner shelf turds. Hey, I love you. Like a lot. You're amazing. You are simply incredible. Cheers to one year. Aw, Trav. You're too sweet. He's the best. If I mean, like literally. I mean, so I took it off so people could see the thing. But he's the one who made this logo and this logo for me. Like he's I'm gonna remove it again so people can see the flip you off thing. But Trav, you the man. <laughs> so okay, it is 124.3. I thought so. <laughs> Most of the time I listen to true crime podcasts in the shower. Thank you very much. But sometimes it's music. Encanto soundtrack, anybody? Uh, mm. The Coyho, my Coyho, well, I say that it's hazmat in, if you round up. So it's a 139.6 proof if you round up. And I would say it's probably not significantly different and would have the same properties of hazmat and the reason for that qualification. But um, it is in last, like it's the last one I'll get to. And one of the things I like about the Koi Hill is that, you know, because it, it, it is so high proof, but it's so rich in flavor. It really like, you know, even after other whiskeys, you know, at the end of the night, if you're still wanting something that's going to deliver flavor, I, you know, Koi Hill is going to do that and you're still going to be able to really enjoy it. So, but I did put it in in last to drink order uh, for a reason. Women of whiskeys. I was talking about y'all earlier. About to try the one the Knob Creek twelve cast strength. Like I said, this is the one twenty point five. Uh, after <laughs> maybe this this the there is that. I do have a very deep passion for Hamilton, but I also wouldn't want to disrespect it like that, you know. <laughs> Sky and drop. Thanks. I don't think I'd survive it as well as Wiley e. Coyote. So, um, okay. I don't know that I, I got these magnetic ones at Marshall's. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I would be allergic to the glue. That's, I mean, like, who wants to do lashes? They're the devil. They're the devil's work. Uh, the mascara is horrible enough. Like, fuck this shit. Uh, <laughs> okay, now I'm trying that castrain Knob Creek. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's one you just want to, like, you don't even want to swallow it because it's just, it's so creamy. It's so creamy. The Knob Creek 12 castrain. It, to me, this is actually very different from 
from the regular Knob Creek single bar, even though it's 120.5 proof. The other one was 120. Not that it drinks hotter, but also I want to acknowledge you. Uh, what's up, Zopi? <laughs> so I hope you're enjoying that coffee mug, buddy. <laughs> uh, the knob that keeps on going. This one is faux show, that knob. It's a knob we all dream of. Every straight woman and homosexual or of other orientations that would also enjoy some knob. Uh, this is the knob you're looking for. This is far better than any other knob you're going to find. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, it's so uh, odd. I don't make any bitch to me. <laughs> so I like this subscribed and I like Boo Ray. Hopefully you might win. So uh, thanks so much, buddy. Uh, never any nom. Go, girl, you know it. A good nom pick can be so, uh, God, that's so good. I'm so glad that it, like you can make one. I know a lot of times it's because normally I start an hour earlier when I go on Wednesdays. So it's harder for you to uh, make him. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Uh, oh, sorry. That finish is still going. That just lingers. Like, so it has this beautiful creamy texture up front. Of course, that peanuttiness, a little bit of cinnamon. Mm, hold on. Oh God, it's so good. That finish is still there. Like still tasting it still. It's so much longer than any, you know, Knob Creek pick. Oh, this is so good. There's almost like a lemon zest in the back. That's what I was trying to figure out. I wish I had a million bottles of these. Oh, I need to find another bottle. God, this is so good. It's not even fair to other whiskeys. Like, it's just so... It's rude. That's what it is. Um, oh my God, that's so good. So, <laughs> whew. yeah, sorry. Smooth, creamy, nutty, creamy nut from this knob. That's what you're really getting, basically. There's a little bit of lemon in the back. Uh, anybody ever hear, ever hear that pineapple juice myth? <laughs> I'm not going to go into it, though. Thank you, Rob M. <laughs> One year is so awesome. Cheers to many more. Thanks so much. I truly do appreciate it. Um, we have a nice day. I have you. Uh, congrats, my friend. I love you so much. Uh, if you have not subbed to Women of Whiskeys, please do it on YouTube and on Instagram. And if you're a female or if there's a female in your life who likes whiskey or you would like to like whiskey, send her over to the Facebook page. Um, we have a really good time in there. It's like actually really kind of cool, cute community. I enjoy a lot. Um, so congrats on one year and here's to many more. Thanks so much, Todd. Ah, you're all so freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm basically a robot. I don't know. You have to put like this liner stuff that I guess is magnetized. That's really hard to put on. And then you've got to press the thingies on and then they get all over your face and then you have to go and wipe everything off, but you've already done the makeup. And so then you, it's stupid. That that's how. <laughs> so um noise. Scott says seriously, cheers for all of, of your success. You are always ha I'm freaking Kira tonight. I can't freaking read. Uh you are always helping the entire community and it does not go unnoticed. Nobody can run a giveaway like a professional like you do. Cheers. Uh thanks so much, Scott. Like I really for me, I feel like so I don't, I don't make a ton of money. You know, I, people think science makes money. We don't, especially in academia research. Um, so for me, it's like, I can't donate to a lot of these fundraisers and stuff that people do. So, you know, my way of being able to participate and contribute in some sort of useful way is by, by helping with tracking giveaways and, and, you know, trying to help with, uh, those kind of behind the scenes logistics, you know, and I love taking notes. So, the nerd in me just thrives in that environment. <laughs> um, but thank you. I, I do appreciate that. So I, oh, such a cool community. So Kevin, if you find one, buy two. And if you don't want the second one after trying the first one, just just message me. Because <laughs> I, I in, after tasting this again, I'm like, I would get another. 100% would get another. So um, 
one year already. What a ride. Congrats. I know it's already been a year. How the fuck? Why am I hesitating to say fuck? It's my own fucking stream. Um, I guess because I'm used to if I'm on home city say camera. I'm, you know, it's a work meeting or something, and I'm trying not to go. Okay, so now it's the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Um Oh, when that knob is so long and it just keeps going and going. Ah, and then you get this creamy finish with that bit of lemon, just, you know, like zest it up. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> uh, we're talking about whiskey. Totally. Totes, 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 totes. Right, Cliffy? <laughs> so have that creamy taste. Best Valentine's Day show ever. You know, I like to stick to a theme. So this is the only time I've celebrated Valentine's Day is uh, with vagina monologues. I performed and directed vagina monologues for a couple years in college. So that's the way I celebrate V-Day. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that right there. <laughs> so this one or the creamy knob one? <laughs> I'm guessing the creamy knob one. Actually, you already have one of my shirts, and it's awesome. I love that one. Okay. Let's get into this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. So this is one, we got it here in Utah. We'd also gotten one in Vegas that was my favorite. This one's also really good. Uh, this one is 131.5 proof. I think the one we had gotten, in, of course, why? There you go. Uh, the one we had gotten in Vegas was 133 something. I don't remember. I, I have no memory and I do Alzheimer's research. Who the fuck hired me? Like that was dumb. Uh, Yeah, like it really, <laughs> yeah, it's some bullshit. <laughs> I I had two job offers and I picked the one that paid twenty thousand dollars a year less. So, but I don't regret it, which tells you, like, you know, like the people are trying in science. Everybody gives science to so much shit. We're trying. It's hard. Okay, shit's not easy to cure. <laughs> so, cold showers for everyone. <laughs> um, Mmm. Woo. Hot finish, though. But good. Quite good. Night and day from Knob Creek. Jack Daniels is definitely a sweeter whiskey. So, like, if you haven't had either, which I don't know what planet you're living on. But, um, it, you know, depending on your profile. I think if you like earthier profiles, Knob Creek's your go. You want that earthy, nutty <laughs> I don't know how much I could do this analogy anymore. Uh, but if you like sweeter things, um, then maybe Jack Daniels. Anyways, uh, Mike Meyer, thank you. Congrats on one year. Adriana, here's to a great 2022. I'm excited for 22. Um, work is turning into doing some really cool projects that I'm like super stoked for. And I'm having fun with the channel. Uh, so like, I think it's gonna be a good year. I know the cool thing is to be upset with every year and how much every year sucks. but 2021 was pretty cool for me, so I'm not mad at it. Um, so far, we don't, no, I'm not, no. Man, that song was out of my head. You bastard, you bastard. Oh, now I'm gonna have to go watch that after I'm done with this stream. Um, if you haven't watched Encanto and you haven't heard, we don't talk about Bruno. Uh, wait, yes we do. We don't talk about bourbon, yes we do. You bastard. <laughs> uh, yes, hit that. Like and subscribe. And also, don't forget, there is a giveaway going on. All those super chats, they are entered. Every $5 gets you in. You could win either. Oh, the, <laughs> I'm short, okay? Uh, this is like the size of my whole torso. High West Distillery Boo Rye, which is now state only, or an E.H. Taylor small batch. So that is a 100 proof small batch. I already proved that there's a bottle in here earlier. So, um, or a flight of samples of the Jack Off with Knob flight. Flight of samples of the Jack Off with Knob flight. How the fuck does that make any sense? Look, I'm not an English major, okay? Uh, <laughs> it's a bunch of people tagging each other. I'm trying to like get back because I know I'm behind in chat. Oh, not by much actually. Ah, uh, yeah, fuck you, shelters. <laughs> uh, 
I was like checking. I'm like, did I make a flick off the sign for shelter? The, oh yeah, I have it posted. I didn't put it on a on a 15 mil conical like I do for all my other signs. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, you could definitely thank Nick. That is very much my husband. Uh, right? Thank you. Thank you for the support for once. <laughs> Just kidding. He's actually really supportive. <laughs> 53 minutes in. I've had a bunch of pours. I've talked about the whiskey, something they've never heard of. Oh, I forgot my um necklace. The my thing to drink as Golden City's palate cleanser. We talked about it yesterday. You drank one yesterday, if that helps. Um uh, you just watched it and it was so good and you teared up. I love Encanto. I love Encanto so much. I lost my mind watching it the first time. I watched it a bunch of times. I don't have children. I don't have an excuse. It's so good. If you're Hispanic and you grew up loving Disney movies and now you see a movie where they talk about a abuela, he does a, a <laughs> the Sana Sana Colina de Rana. It, like so many little Hispanic things that are in there. It's just, oh, it's so, it's so good. And like the accents of everybody, and it's written, but the music is written by Lynn Manuel Miranda. I love Encanto, if you couldn't tell. I love anything Lynn Manuel Miranda touches, pretty much. Oh, after all the Knob Creek, Knob and Jack Off talk, that, that felt really awkward about what he touches. Anyways. Thrasher, like everyone has said, I appreciate what you do for the community. For the couple of times that I've kept track of Super Chats, you're awesome. And I love the joy and the smiles you bring to your bids. Keep it up. Thank you so freaking much. That legit means a lot. Thank you. Um, like I said, I like tracking. Um, I, you know, it's my way of being able to participate and contribute. Um, but also, like, one thing I really enjoy oh hold on yeah can you mm. 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 that is really really good so we've got 120 120.5 131 133 131.5 honestly though yeah I know everybody's gonna think this is a bias thing but I swear it's not this does have a really nice finish the Knob Creek 12 cast drink definitely had a longer, more interesting finish. This has a, this sweet profile that I actually, generally I don't like, oh, like Buffalo Trace really isn't as much my jam because it's a much sweeter profile. Um, this does have a sweet profile that I do enjoy. This, this pick particularly isn't crazy on the banana. I get a little bit more on the nose really than, I get a tiny hint of it on the palate. Um, I haven't done many blinds with Jack Daniels, but it's one that I feel like I'd probably pick up pretty decently. So <laughs> I forgot something at the 58 minute mark. I, I forget something at every minute. So uh, shelf dudes are copying me, if anything. <laughs> Don't need kids to watch Disney. <laughs> I I watched them all on of these. So the other night, uh, I had a big presentation for work. It went really well. But that's why I've like kind of been uh, like not in it, uh, some of the lives lately because I've been preparing for that. And so to celebrate, I watched Encanto and then I watched Moana uh, and drank. I mean, it was great. It was a perfect little night for me. <laughs> so uh, average drinker, I knew it was Bill after word for. Oh. Stole her phone. Sorry, I tried to follow this and it didn't make any sense. But I'm sure it makes sense to Nick. Uh, I guess he didn't get the memo about my palate cleanser or didn't understand what I was saying. So or whatever. If I was Kira, I'd pick up my phone and just be texting along in the middle of a live stream or whatever. I'm not going to do that because I respect y'all. <laughs> I got jobs out there. It's, um, I have a little like, <laughs> like, could I have fucked up and sent the wrong thing? No. Okay, we're good. Congratulations, Adam Dorman, who's like one of my OG patrons. He's got an Instagram evening evening drams. Uh, he's the man. But anyways, like I just want to say I appreciate you to begin with. 
uh, congrats on your channel's anniversary. I'm always proud to say I was your first patron. You do a great job and great things for the community. Cheers, Adrian. Thank you, Adam. You are like, ah, like this community, it's so much more than just whiskey. Am I about to do a bourbon wrench freaking like speech because I'm having all these very high proof whiskeys? It's just a short one, maybe. It's so much more than just like the whiskey's delicious and it kind of like removes the barriers. I'm actually an introvert, which might surprise people uh, watching me cuss and flip people off on a live stream. But in reality, I like don't talk to people. <laughs> but so I think the whiskey kind of helps remove those barriers and get us talking to each other more easily. And just, but also like willing to see the good in each other and just it's to me so fucking bomb. Like, oh, I forgot to bring over the mugs. But like, for example, today Burben sent a bottle that uh, him and, and Nick had figured out that he wanted and sent me some Knob Creek mugs. Also, and it's like, I love them. He already sent me a Knob Creek hat and now he sent these mugs and I'm like stupid and happy about it. Um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> I feel like going over the top. Oh, Jen's here. Sorry, I will go back to you one more cast, but Jen, what's up? Uh, the other half of Women of Whiskeys, I know you're not gonna be as involved, but you're still doing the criminals and cocktails and I'm so glad because that is, you know, one of the best parts of it so uh but and i know she loves this chick knows her true crime and does her research like a boss uh so much respect i love it so but also one more cast congrats whiskey moms thank you so much buddy um i'm sorry if you had tried to earlier and the it didn't work so um boop boop uh oh no Okay, I like, so when I was little and didn't know better, I really enjoyed Pocahontas. As an adult, I've never gone back and watched. Like, I am a guilty pleasure, rewatch movies to the day I die, but I do not watch Pocahontas. It was, it was ridiculous. So, and I do think Native Americans is like, you know, Moana was amazing in representing, you know, the Native culture of Hawaii. Encanto has been just like one of the most special things. I hope that they do do a, you know, the Native American community some justice. So, um, and some accurate justice. So, uh, getting off my soapbox now. Anyway, oh no, some mother. What is this bullshit? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, everything up until the last thing um, is good. And then there's the last thing. So, for anybody who doesn't know, why the last thing makes me so mad. I did not take my. Oh, speaking of husbands. Okay, <laughs> he's not kidding. Um, but I did not take my husband's last name. I have a PhD. I did not get that PhD to be doctor somebody else's fucking last name. I've ranted about this, <laughs> I guess, a few times. So I'm Dr. Rodriguez, not Dr. Prom. So doesn't mean I love my husband any less. Again, we don't have kids. I don't need the same thing. I'm, I, it's pointless for me. It's, it doesn't make me mad at anybody who does it. Some of my best friends, a book, all three of my best friends have taken their husband's life. I'm not mad at that. It's not for me. I'm Dr. Rodriguez. I'm not taking, I'm not Mrs. Proman. And I hate that. <laughs> so now that everybody understands that rant, thank you. Okay. Now that uh, Mr. Rodriguez uh, finally got the memo on something, <laughs> let me get back to the thing. Now that I'm getting behind again in chat, uh, typical. I mean, Mm. Hey, this is delicious, but also this right here, this right here, this is why this community is so fucking awesome. Zen Boot, I always see you in the chat on Kill Coast. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. You know, when you know that somebody like, you know, can't be putting in, look at this, I'm not there in a way. Did I skip you? I'm, I feel like an ass if I just skip you. Brian, but uh, I'm not throwing away my shot. Ah, love the Hamilton reference. Also, you might have a new patron. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I'm your patron. That doesn't mean you're sweet. But you are now automatically entered into um, giveaways that I do. So get to one more. Um, 
So Independent Joe, I hope you noticed this, that Zen Boots entries will go uh, to Brian because that's the type of this community that we have here and it's the best. Okay, oh God, this Jack Daniels thing. What is everybody sipping? Actually, I kind of try to skim through um, chats that have like somebody else tagged at the beginning. That way I can try to catch up to things I'll be able to follow. So, and if it if you have tagged me, it doesn't show up on StreamYard that way. Okay, I'm gonna take another sip of this Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. I love that thing except for the fucking name. The name is the worst part by far. <laughs> Digging the subtle shade that I'm throwing at them. Uh, a the whiskey channel.com. Right? Like they don't fucking know who they are. I like I can't also that name is too long. No, and nobody got time to say whiskey fucking com. Like you're the shelf turds. We know this. I know why I understand uh turd gets flagged and stuff, but I like I just it's too long. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I realized after I like made all these things that I hadn't actually said their current channel name. Um, but back to focusing on whiskey. I don't know if the shelf turds have ever heard of whiskey, but that's what I'm doing. Mm. It does just. I really. So for me, the banana. It's very much mixed with caramel and like brown sugar and butter. Like there's a butteriness to Jack Daniels that I really enjoy, like the, the higher level of Jack Daniels. The only time I've ever drank regular Jack Daniels was in shots form. Like, let's be honest. Uh, has anybody actually drank it? I don't know what I'm owning, but I'll own it. <laughs> um, oh, was this about my last name? <laughs> Speaking of this dipshit, I'm gonna do some, um, right? It's a way cooler name. I mean, it, sure, it's extremely common and everything, but in Proman is not common at all. It's kind of made up, but whatever. Rodriguez is cool. It's a good name. It sounds way better with Adriana than like Adriana Cristina Proman. The fuck? No, nobody wants that. Um, Nick Proman sounds fine. Nick Rodriguez sounds even better. Just saying. Uh, I guess I'm catching up to everybody learning about my rant on my last name. Also, my mom did the same thing. And she had kids. And her last name stayed Rivera. So, so Enrod and A-Rod. Yes! That sounds good. Enrod and A-Rod. See, Nick, you're getting it. Soon he's going to change his name. And it's going to be, instead of Prick Noman, Rick... I don't know how to do this. Nick Rodriguez. Rick Rodriguez. That sounds awful. Can't do it. Here's to y'all, shelf turds. We do miss you. I hope y'all are having a good fucking time in Disney World and doing all the fucking awesome Star Wars. I don't know. If, if you don't know, shelf turds is out of town. They're traveling. And they're in Disney World. And they've been posting about Galaxy's Edge, which is like Nick and I would kill. One day we're gonna go, uh, <laughs> maybe like in a couple of years, uh, we we wanna go there and wizard, wizarding, I almost said wizarding world of whiskey. That would be epic though. Somebody make a wizarding world of whiskey because who does not want to? Jack Daniel single barrel proof, barrel, barrel proof, fuck y'all with your stupid names is delicious. It's a stupid name, but it's delicious. I Couldn't they just Jack Daniels some other hill at their distillery. I don't know. Uh, something shorter. But it's so good. I, I have not had one that I really dislike. That PB. I notice I haven't actually taken a sip because I don't actually like. Dick Nobregas. That's the most genius thing that's happened on my channel. I'm like I'm writing it down because I am that nerd. Like I said, Dick Nobregas is one of the best things to have ever happened. Um, wow, that was that was amazing. 
Oh yeah. It's like, yeah. Like you don't even exist at all. Like your entire identity is just completely wiped away. So my mom also has her PhD and her, uh, my stepfather had us and it was, they would send shit to Dr. And Mrs. Philip Rollinson. I almost forgot his last name. Like, so her identity was completely wiped out and she hadn't even taken his name and her degree was completely wiped out, but his was recognized. Nothing pissed her off more. Uh, so I didn't like, I mean, you know, like you took his last name. Couldn't they at least recognize that you still have a first name? Like you're not, hmm, I suppose maybe this is a women of whiskey's rant, but whatever. So, but I do want to say, it looks like we might have uh, a shelf, for a second, I thought I had it wrong. A shelf turds, maybe not fan, but uh, something else. Let's see here. What are we hey, got? Uh, Adriana Kira, uh, is that your name? Uh, I, 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 I think I'm lost or something because normally on these days like this, on a Monday night, the whiskeychannel.com, shelf turds, whatever they want to call themselves now, are on the channel. Yeah. But now it seems a Kira replacement is here. Is that what this is or is this something else? Never mind. Don't even hey, worry about hey, it. I'm I want to tell you something. I'm better than a Kira replacement. I want to tell, okay. tell you something about these shelf turds. Look at this. Look at this. I got, uh, I, I agree with you. You know what? I, I went with the 15 year uh, Knob Creek, put, uh, put it in a dirty glass. Put it in a dirty glass because, hey, cheers to everybody out there that's in the chat. And you're giving uh, your $5 or whatever. Uh, you're going to be entered into this uh, giveaway. You know what I'm saying? But let me get back to the, the, the point I was trying to make about Mr. David and Mr. Mrs. Uh, Kira. You know, they, they think they're all fancy now that they went all the way to Florida. They went and drank all this high class whiskey. Now they're the bougie mm -hmm. turds or whatever they want to call themselves. But let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. They may, uh, they may tell me. We see right through that. We see right through that. And, you know, uh, it it hurts. It hurts. You know, I, I'm not a salty person preps for a reason. I mean, there's reasons for this, all this right here, this saltiness. But I'll tell you what, when they get back, uh, th things are going to change. Things are going to change. I think they should call themselves a whiskeychannel.com. I don't know why, but I think they already did that. So that's irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Oh, yeah. Guys, guys, okay. Valentine's Day, right? What did you do for your ladies? <laughs> what did you do for that your ladies? Nothing. Bring him a PBI. We're here. We're ago. here hanging out, having fun, drinking whiskey. But I'll tell you what, Valentine's Day, uh, got to be careful because Valentine's Day, you know what next month is? Next month is what? Women's Month. It's the whole month. You know, men, oh, us, men say only, day. <laughs> us men, we only, get, we only get one day in November. One day in November. You get 11 months. You get 11 no. months. We, we get, get one day in November. We get one. We get one. Women History Month, you know. all month, next month. And look at this. Look at this. You know what? Last night, last be. night, I wrote a poem for all the guys out there that are single and don't have, they don't have a woman. All right? They, don't worry about it. Because let me, oh, let me no. tell you, let me recite my poem that I just wrote last night during the halftime mm. Super Bowl. Oh, Broken heart help. again, another lesson learned. Better know help. your friends or I'll say you will get burned. Gotta count on me, cause I can guarantee that I'll be fine. Oh, what's happening? Okay, well, maybe nope. not. Nope. Maybe I'm not gonna be fine. Maybe I'm just, nope. Nope. I'm just gonna be assaulted pretz my whole life. My, dropped my <laughs> cigar, I dropped it again. Maybe, maybe I won't be got? skipping along with anybody anymore. Maybe I won't find anybody. Oh no. Damn it, Kira. You find Chloe Stafford. I'm not you, Kira. Oh. I'm Dr. Love, Rodriguez. Look what you've done to me. Oh no. Oh, nope, no. nope, 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 nope. A, my name is Adriana or Dr. Rodriguez or Whiskey Mountains, never Kira. And B, Fuck that song. 
and that poem. That was terrible. But if you don't know, there were once two pretzels, cutest best friends you ever did see. And they were walking down the street, hand in hand, happy as a bug in a rug. And then one was assaulted. And there's Kira's favorite fucking joke. This is why you're watching this instead of shelters while they're fucking it up in Galaxy's Edge, you bastards. Uh, hold on, I did miss some important things. First off, had to address it. <laughs> had to because I have to. My stepfather's PhD, actually both of theirs were in English. He was an English professor. Um, they're both doctors though, that's the thing. So it should be doctor and doctor. So like that would just be because it was from the time where women weren't allowed to be doctors. So the appropriate is doctor and doctor. And it, like they had same colleagues who should know that they were both done. So anyway, anyways, that rant is done. Love you, IC80s. Uh, but to explain, sorry, I wanted to see this. Is Dick the Green is a character? Oh, it should be Hendo. <laughs> Make that happen. Oh, that would, oh DC, if DC's around, we got to get that as a thumbnail. But I have to address this. What? <laughs> is this because I give Mike Stahl a bunch of shit and you like giving it? Because I love giving Mike Stahl shit. Um, here's to all love you sent my way in regards to your middle fingers and F news. Uh, here's also to all the middle fingers and F news heading my way during your second year on OC. You know, there'll be more. There's always, there's always more of this. Mira, always. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I can't read that part of this. Uh, in all seriousness, congrats on one year. Oh, well, thank you, Blake. <laughs> um, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Also, y'all, this is going to be huge help this week. My Jeep is going into the shop and I think it's a problem problem. He's a 2010, um, and he's my baby forever. So all of this is going to him and hopefully he will come out on the other side happy and healthy. Um, but thank, like, seriously, thank you. This is honestly, all of this helps relieve lots of anxiety and weight off my shoulders. Um, but also, I, I love you. Like, thank you. I do feel appreciated. And I, I enjoy being a part of this community. Y'all are the best. So um, that salted pretzel, though, was fucking something. So everybody who knows shelter, it's new. <laughs> it's like one of those, if you know, you know why this insane pretzel just came on. That was amazing. <laughs> he has a pretzel thing. That was Independent Joe who's tracking tonight's giveaway. Um, Independent Joe, please don't have missed Blake Benson's. <laughs> uh, that was insanity. <laughs> yeah, every, every, that was, that was great. <gasps> a salty knob. This is what pineapple juice fixes, supposedly. I know somebody who tried it and it didn't work though. <laughs> I don't think it's true. It is extra salty. He was salty. Salty little bitch. I shouldn't say little. I'm four foot nine and three eighths, but whatever. I like everybody's reactions to him being a pretzel. Also, this just made me really want Ani Ann's. I love Ani Ann's. Got into the brain candy. That was the shelter tech, which of course sold out before we got one. Uh, Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> okay. All over our apartment? <laughs> really, Frank Noman? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm married to Salacious Crumb, the little minion of Jabba the Hutt. So that's fun. Um, Independent Joe is tracking. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Blake, why are you so nice? And yet so wonderfully mean. <laughs> um, okay. Well, so I am going to, the way I will be doing the um, announcement, ooh, I see yours. Um, but the way we're going to draw, I'm just going to share it and randomize it a bunch of times. And then the top person wins. Uh, it's just a lot faster than the whole pick a random number thing. And I love efficiency. So uh, I am your girl for efficiency. So anyways.
following at Zenbozli, donating to get Kelco. Ah, oh, Kelco, see? I really love you. Congrats to one year from the top 10 outdoor hiking whiskey drinking woman channels on whiskey too. Wow, that was really specific. I'm glad I made it to the top 10. Um, who else is in there? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> You know, like they say, you got to find your niche. This is very much a niche. Drinking whiskey on the trail and being a female doing it. And 99% of the time doing those hikes by yourself. Uh, so I want to meet the other nine and we should start a club. We should drink together. <laughs> Thank you so much, My Whiskey Lab. I'm purposely saying that um, instead of your name <laughs> because of your previous channel. Uh, but thank you. I know Kilko really appreciates it. So, okay, what, what do we got here? Oh, see, that's the smart way to do it. You could come home and relax with a clean kitchen, garbage and recite. Nick did. Okay, Nick, we don't celebrate it, though. Like, Nick made shrimp because he knew I was nervous about this, and I love shrimp. Shrimp for the shrimp. Best joke ever. <laughs> um, and I poured her one over her face. It's fine, it's fine. You're doing all right, the other Vasco. So, okay, uh, what time is it? It's 8.22. I don't know how long I should go. Oh, I haven't even drank the Koi Hill yet. I'm actually drinking this PBR. I don't like beer. Yeah, no, I still hate it. It's just nice and cold, which is the only good thing about beer. See the new maker's mark named Brit01, B-R-T, Bert, Bert and Ernie. That would be so great. I was like, I read it as Brit. And I was like, why Ernie, though? That would be epic. Also, have you ever seen the Bert and Ernie thing where they're like a, they're like a couple and like, but mad at each other. And like, Ernie's like, Bert, I wish you didn't drink so much, Bert. And Bert's like, well, I wish you didn't eat cookies in the damn bed. I don't know. If you haven't seen that, then it's probably not as funny, but it's funny to me. Was that pre-planned? <laughs> he gave me a warning. I didn't know the whole shebang, but he gave me a warning, but it was while I was setting up and I didn't totally know. But I'd seen him wear that pretzel before. So, I mean, I'd seen that pretzel before. So, boop, boop. Which is a secret Lynn Manuel Miranda fan inside joke. So, okay, let me drink this Koi Hill. I dig it. I dig it. So should I should I round it up at 8:30? We'll go for around 8:30 and then if we're still having a good time, we could go to like 8:45 if Joe's cool with it. Like Joe, you can tell me to shut the fuck up whenever you want. So, um, while I take a sip of Corey Hill though, somebody who might be interested in uh Dick Nabrigas is uh is making a guest appearance. So hello fucking buck <laughs> buckle up Jackson Johnson. You know, gotta wear the name tag. So Yep, yep. I loved it. I didn't realize they had, had made a shirt for your amazing bucks. I'm I'm excited about that. I need to get that shirt. So I didn't either until like last week and then <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you had to get your own books freaking shirt you got it yeah i gotta wear the name tag so what's going on just out here drinking high proof whiskeys giving the shelf tears shit hey normal you know, monday that's night what we do. that's what we do yeah i got knob yeah. creek 12 i don't have Ooh. the cast drink but i'll i'll drink the regular Ooh. 12 it's a good one that is one of my favorite whiskeys so Man, you can't be good. mad at it it's good right <laughs> it's really good. It's like, it's like, it doesn't get enough credit for the credit it gave us. That was a Hamilton quote. Sorry. Could have oh, been man. Us. I thought you were going to bust out some, some Bruno or something on me. Oh, wait. We don't talk about No, Bruno. no. Hold on. Oh, now that's going to be back in your head. Yeah. Damn it. It was your wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder. No, sorry. Okay. Uh, and now you're yeah. freaking on a yeah. live stream on Valentine's Day. 
Yeah, my wife Ooh. just went to bed. She's done. She's like, all right, we're done. Um, oh, you, no, I got a, I got a sick kid. So Valentine's Day is always fun when you have sick kids. But but we have this awesome community and we get to hang out. So that's what we do. Kind of helps. Kind of helps make up for it, you know. Yep. Have you had well, any of the Koi Hill? I have not had the Koi Hill. Uh, I've never even seen a bottle of that. I didn't see that or the uh, the the rye last year. Didn't didn't see that one either. Um, oh, I do have we we the want Tennessee it in the lottery. Oh, gotcha. We, and I don't like it, so it's it's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I know a guy. Um. <laughs> you know, I might be holding on to it for a certain fundraiser later. Yeah, maybe that's good. Good idea. Good idea. You yeah. gotta you gotta top yeah. your uh last year's earnings. So Yeah, yeah, I gotta try. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. But you know. Are you are you hardcore missing are you hardcore missing the turds tonight? Is it just breaking your heart? Um so you know, I, I'm missing them, but I don't think they're missing me. Um I'm sure you saw the you saw some of the pictures, maybe not. Um Julie thought it'd be a great idea to take like horrible pictures of me and post them like all over their bedroom in the uh at her house. <laughs> um <laughs> it was pictures of me and Matt Stafford all over the bedroom. <laughs> so uh, I did not see that. Um Yeah. I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. Uh Yeah, no. The, my, the text from David was I you know Hey man, I love you, but I don't know that I love you that much or something like that. So it was funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was me and Matt Stafford, and you know I'm a Stafford fan because he was a he was a damn good dog. So um, oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So for you, this was a good. It was a this good was one. A, yeah. almost drunk enough to to sing karaoke kind of game. Yeah, yeah. My my uh, my wife actually went to went to middle school with the the head coach of the Rams. So. Um, they had classes together oh, really? and stuff. Kind of crazy, yeah. Wait, so, is that Sean McVay? Yeah, Sean McVay. She went to she went to middle school yeah. with Sean McVay. So, Shut the fuck up. That's badass. Yeah, kind of crazy, badass. right? She's she doesn't remember him at all, apparently. But um, I guess it's a good thing. Uh, no competition for me. So, um, but we're good. <laughs> yeah, um, you're, you're. I mean, it's Sean McVay though. Yeah. Like, mm, mm, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I might be with Kira on this. Like, eh, yeah, there's a lot of there was a lot of bulldogs on that uh on that Rams uh, Rams team. So we were definitely going for them. Yeah, there was there was a Gamecock, so I was I was rooting for that Gamecock. But there you, you go. Know. <laughs> also, I gotta I gotta acknowledge Christine Vasco real quick. Whiskey Mountains, whiskey hiking, and strong women. Fuck yeah! Also, this is the dude. Who introduced me to like my whole hammock setup for backpacking and it's starting to get warmer. It's like it hit 60 degrees today. So I might mm. be able to go go backpacking with my hammock again. Yeah. I've been I've been cheating on my hammock. We've been we've been glamping lately. Oh. we bought a camper. So we've been oh. it was the only way I'm getting my wife in the woods is if she's in air conditioning or heated. <laughs> And totally protected from bugs. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, that's, fair. that's fair. But but we are I, finishing. I got stung yeah. by a Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Um just last time. Yeah. It's so. better than ticks, I'm I guess. Mm. Well, yeah, ticks are more long term annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Lyme These are like short term pain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we've got a we're finishing the AT finally. In, in Georgia um, in in March. So, finally. Oh. Hell yeah. She's going with you? No, 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 no. Your wife? Not, not, oh, not you we, said we, not and we. I was like... I'm sorry. I'm, me and my with buddy the camper? Always <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was like, wait, <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I, I, I always think we, because I have a buddy, that, I'm actually my next door neighbor, that always hikes with me. So, when we, when we go on oh, our big oh, hikes, okay. it's always me and him, so... Oh, okay. That that problem. It's a different we. It's it's my hiking boyfriend, I guess. I don't know. 
Yeah, it's your yeah. You know, like how people have like a work husband or work wife kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's your your hiking boo. It's yeah. cool. You could have yeah. that fucking BJ Johnson. Like, of course you have a hiking boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. You know me. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let yep. you. Uh, I'll let you take this over because I f- I feel like I'm boring people. But hey, cheers and congrats on a uh, a full year. Of this awesomeness. That's awesome. Right? Fucking nuts. I mean, it's kind of fun to celebrate and give sheltered shit at the same time. So it's like it's a oh, good day. No. It's a good way. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a good Monday. The pictures. Oh no. Check the group chat. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, I'm so afraid to see them. Oh, I'm gonna be traumatized. Great. Yes, you will. You <laughs> All right. will. Cheers, All buckle right. up, Jackson Johnson. <laughs> that was the man, the myth, the legend himself that wrote uh all the really trashy romance novels on the shelf turns. Buckle up Jackson Johnson on fucking V Day. Holy for holy, exactly. Also, I'm sorry, I didn't actually get to read out loud. Um, Mark Emenecker's still trying to get back to win. Didn't you win a bunch? I feel like I tracked one recently that you won a bunch. Uh, no, I didn't track it. I watched the replay. It was Women of Whiskeys, I think. Independent Joe did. Uh, first time here with Whiskey Mountains, maybe is the key. Didn't you? I, you won a bunch, but who knows? Maybe. Uh, also, awesome to see you on, Mark. So, okay, scrolling down. Everybody was stoked to meet Buckle Up Jax. I This is my first time having him on the, the stream. Bullshit. I don't even know how to glamp. Says the husband who never goes hiking with me. I have to drag him on a hike and has never came to it. You know what, my Nick, you want me to call you out? You want me to call you? I'm going to call you out. What was my honeymoon? My honeymoon. He was working two jobs at the time. So, in fairness. But and my dad it was visiting from Puerto Rico, and that was the last time I saw him until last May. So it was like four years. My honeymoon, mine, his was just like a couple days off and staying at home with the dog and finally not having to work six out of seven days a week. Mine was camping with my dad. Nick does not camp. <laughs> He's so full of shit. I don't even have a hiking husband. I tried to have a hiking dog and she fakes injuries for <laughs> back. Oh, that poor puppy. Hendo. Everybody was excited to see Hendo. That was pretty cool. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to come on, considering it's a special day for a lot of people. So um, that was that was pretty fucking cool. Okay. But what was funny was, actually, that I wanted to comment, and I had taken my first sip, and he'd just come on, of the Koi Hill. And so now I want to go back to the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Hmm. So it's fine because this is 133 proof. This is 139.6, almost hazmat. I think if you were a chemist, you would run up and you would. It probably has hazmat like properties. This is the Koi Hills. It's not just a really good. I'm so sorry. That's so douchey. That does actually feel douchey when I think about it that it's like. It's not like you can just go out and grab it or whatever. But I'm hoping, like, the warehouse still exists. And I heard that they're redoing a ride this year. I'm not sure. I heard that as a rumor. But it's a, you know, like, I feel like that means, you know, Koi House still exists. They've still got older barrels up in those upper levels. Hopefully they're going to redo this again, considering what a hit it was. This is better than just a really good single barrel barrel proof of Jack Daniels. The beer is making me burp, and I don't like it. So there we go. Thank you, Independent Joe. I was like, you just perfect. I was about to pause and say, let's go for 845. So for real, and he has said it, and he's the one tracking. So 845 Mountain Time. I'm in Utah. 1045 <laughs> Eastern. 745 Pacific. 945 for fucking Central, because I feel bad that they're the only ones I left out. Um, the giveaway will close. So the giveaway is by five dollar entries in the super in by super chat. We've got E. H. Taylor. We've got High West Boo Rye, which is Utah State only and isn't even at the liquor stores yet. So this is distillery only as of right now. 
Jack offers now flight um, and a merch giveaway. And you can pick the merch. It doesn't have to be this shirt just because I'm absurdly, stupidly proud of this shirt. It can be different merch. Um, I can actually even customize the merch for you if you would like. But what I was going to say is this does not drink as higher proof than this. Like when I first took a sip of this, I was like, wait a second. This actually drinks at like a bit spicier, especially, you know, at the beginning of the finish. And the finish is definitely not as long. I'm saying this, like they're labeled and you know. I'm saying the Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof, stupid fucking long ass name. Okay. Oh, thank you, Lil. <laughs> and 145. Oh, whoops. And 145 Australian Eastern Standard. How many time zones are actually in Australia? Because I know Australia is way bigger than Americans realize. Like it's pretty much the size of the United States. I remember seeing like an overlay of Australia on top of the United States. Granted, this was while looking up stuff about a serial killer in Australia. So, <laughs> but um. Okay, so I just drank the stupid long name. Now I'm going to have a sip of the Koi Hill. She's a beaut. Woo, there she is. Proof only comes in just like front of the tongue, right at the end though, right during the finish, which is funny because I feel like finish always hits you in the throat. But the Koi Hill... It kind of hits you at the front of the tongue, even though it's it during the finish. So it's lingering all, which just gives you an idea of the oiliness. Uh, again, I feel kind of like an asshole talking about how great the Koi Hill is. Um, but if you have it, you know, you know, and if you don't have it, you might have other whiskeys that I could never get my hands on. So it's like, you know, we all have our things. Divine. So good. Okay. So now I want to A and B a little bit. Four different, okay, so at, at, what is Hawaii's time zone? That's a different one. It's not Pacific. I don't know. I doubt Don is still around. Um, I don't know why. Is, is it just like Hawaiian time zone? I've never been. I've never even been to California. I've never been that out west. Yeah, EHT small batch, high west blue rye, the jack off with knob flight, and then merch. Merch is a, another giveaway. And there'll also be one uh, just for patrons, uh, another jack off with knob flight for my patrons. That's a separate tracker. That one's just based totally on patrons. So HST. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Uh, good day from Queensland. What's up? That was not me trying to do an accent. I'm terrible at accents. 538. Jesus, it's still fucking work. Uh, anyways. So Australia, that gives you an idea. So we have four, including Hawaii's, they are a state. They're more part of the United States than fucking Puerto Rico. Um, uh -huh. uh, but um, they, like for those who didn't realize until a couple years ago, like me, how big Australia was, that's how big it is. I'm going to taste through these again, but I might have somebody else around wants to say something so i think he's ready what's up cliffy what's up <laughs> you know i couldn't miss an opportunity to shit on the shelf turds. <laughs> right shit on the shelf turds talk about how great knobs are like <laughs> this has been the best is there anything... day stream ever <laughs> <laughs> is there anything we love more i mean the shelf turds are so awful at trivia like the, i hosted a trivia match with them and they just lost so badly um that that, that I mean, was yeah yeah, that was really sad. Were, so that's kind of the big thing. I mean, you, you hit all the nail on the head with like the stream starting so late. I can't believe that this stream is still holding itself together. I mean, if this were shelters, this would be an absolute shit show at this point. One of us would literally be in the bathroom by now, having a full on brownout. Like <laughs> shirts would be off. Like it, it would just be crazy. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody be shaving shit off. I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to pour some Knob Creek because I want to join you. This is just a, a single barrel pick of it. But um, I just I just, I just, just bought a backup bottle of the 12. I love it. Delicious. Yes. That's what, whenever, it, like, it, do they have it regularly on the shelves there? 
It depends. It sort of not for a good price. Like if I see it on the shelves, it's kind of like marked up. I saw it recently. It was only like yeah. like fifty five, like which I think is really low for it. So I, I oh, bought. Yeah. I should have bought, yeah. bought more than one there. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's like you know Utah is controlled, so we don't have marked up prices, and it's sixty mm -hmm. normally here. But when it's here, so then when it's here, we're like, okay, I need I need my backup bottle so I can enjoy some. But, yeah, it took yeah, me a minute so. to get into it. I think at first, I think I was still hung up on those older, like single barrel picks that used to be like 13 years old. Um, but now that we don't yeah. see those, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'll settle yeah. for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we don't have picks in Utah. We just got our first Knob Creek pick, and it's not very good. Is it's it my state, least is it state favorite? Done? Is it no. done by the state? Yeah, it's state. Yeah, it's uh, done by the state. You need to get good people on those picks. Yeah. I know Jason from the Mash and Drum is helping out with um, his state's picks, which are really cool, which is really cool. Oh, I hadn't heard that yet because I know he's a state control, state mm -hmm. control, state, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I like, like, oh, like the, we have really good the, makers. We have oh. we have some great makers picks. We've had two now. Last year was the first year our state did picks whatsoever. And it was makers, the wood finish series. But like, but, have, uh, have you ever had a the, bad makers pick? Like that's the thing. I don't think I've ever had a bad maker's pick. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not going to credit I them. I mean, I'm sure it's great. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like I've had ones that are better than others, but they've all been good. But like this Knob Creek pick, I'm like, the fuck Utah. Like, Knob <laughs> Creek's so good. <laughs> How do you Knob Creek up? I mean, it's like the, the longer, the better. The longer the finish there is. It's just like two, you like, I like, you know, Knob Creek stairs away from the sweeter side. Like other was right. too. Like I mean, it's sweet sweeter. in its own way, but like it's but not it's like, like it's, yeah. it's oaky and earthy, yeah. like you said earlier. Like that's absolutely what yeah. I want it to be. Yeah, but this is like has zero sweetness whatsoever, and it's just dry. Uh, and it's I'm like, I need to re pour it. I should I should pour it again, <laughs> but you know whatever. <laughs> but I mean, it's still it's, it's still, still a knob. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a knob. I mean, you know, nobody likes an overly dry knob, but nah, definitely you know. the wetter the better. <laughs> I'm like afraid to take that analogy too far. I'm like, oh, do I introduce Lou? How you cannot take it too far. I'm literally on your screen because of it. <laughs> this is true. Oh, by the way, there's two minutes. Two minutes. I just like wait, what time is it? Two minutes left in the in the giveaway. Uh bye, Freddie. No. Maybe that's what states get. Uh, there was Why a does Freddie no fucking hate Utah so much then? <laughs> like, 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 no one's going to buy this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right. Of all the states, you get this barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Definitely, I'm going to get that man. shirt, too. Or, earlier, when you read my comment about the shirt, I was talking about the um the nutty finish. Or what was it? The creamy nut the creamy yeah. nut finish. I meant that, creamy, but I also creamy, need to get one of those shirts. <laughs> It's, I'm I'm stupid proud of this shirt. I'll I'll admit it's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> you know when you try too hard at something, and then it comes out like slightly decent. And you're like, yes. Oh yeah, well that's, you got to show. Me. I mean, that's me. All of your design work. I mean, you said Trev helped out at the beginning too. Like it's just incredible. Like yeah. I like I said, I'm mean, my super chat. Like your branding, not just like your channel, but like your branding. You are just killing it. You make merch that I want to buy. Like I literally want to buy all of the Whiskey Mountains merch. I can't, but I want to. <laughs> A lot of, it was like that was my thing. I was like, if I'm gonna ask people to buy this, I want it to be something that if I saw it, I would want to buy it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm cheap and I like picky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't want to just put something out there, just you know, like. But like, so if y'all don't know Bourbon Bites, this is Bourbon Bites. He Hello. does like <laughs> gaming, especially like some older games and whiskey. I can't say bourbon really because. You do all the whiskeys. I mean, yeah, but sure. I, my first love is bourbon. Like, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's definitely been a heavy, like, Scotch and Irish. Even there was a Japanese stream recently, uh, right? Yeah, that was, like, totally new to me. I think I, I used to say I dabble in Scotch, but I feel like I, I do a little more than dabbling. I, I, I diddle in it now, I think. I think that's the next level <laughs> of dabbling. I'm sorry to make you say <laughs> Oh, you there. <laughs> Don't. Don't diddle whiskey out my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy nut finish. This I would, might have I to would, become a... I would have to not wear that in certain situations. I'd have to be very careful, but like, I would totally wear that somewhere. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the gay club. I don't know. <laughs> right. Oh, that would be the perfect place for it. 
<laughs> and then if they try to hit on me, like, oh, no, no, I, I was talking about bourbon, not you. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the perfect place for it. Okay. I do want to say it is 845. So the um, giveaway is closed. I want to make sure that uh, I, I'm going to get the, like, thumbs up from Independent Joe before I start calling the entries. So gotcha. but, well, I'm actually good. I yeah. don't have much time tonight, so I will tune in and watch the giveaway. Yeah. Good luck to everyone. Cool. Um, and if you guys aren't subscribed to her yet, please, please do. Like one of my favorite whiskey tube channels. I mean, I love them all, but like Adriana is like, like legit. <laughs> but in fairness, I happened because of you. Like, not literally. just because of me, but it was a good conversation we had on like, Discord. So, <laughs> like, yeah, but it was like you know, it's like. It's it I don't it's just nice to see different communities represented in whiskey tube and that was definitely a big part of it. So it's much much check needed. Out I'm, glad Urban see, Diets. I'm glad to see it. Um, it, ever since you joined, there have been other like women that are getting into it and just other minorities, and I absolutely love that. So I think not that you not to say you're a trailblazer, but I mean you kind of are. I mean on the trails I mean, as well. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. Thank you so much for having me on. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs> see ya. All right. Awesome. Ah, I love Clifton so freaking much. He is the best. Uh, okay. I'm looking to see from him. I just want to make sure he feels okay. Yeah. Awesome. So he's all good. Okay. So I want to give my ranking. Is that going to piss people off? Might piss people off. Hold on. I was paying too much attention to bourbon youths. Like, so I got my PhD at the University of Utah, and we're the Utah Utes, with permission of the local, of the of the actual tribe. Um, yeah, I heard you, Richie. Uh, oh, hey, hey, Tris. But um, okay, I'm trying to decide my order and being completely honest. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. it's so funny drinking things out of order like if you haven't you don't even have to do a blind side do a bunch of things watch a movie so you're not paying too much attention or host a live stream so that your focus is very much off and try things that you know you love or whatever it just gives you very interesting and cool perspective so i actually started out with 15 the brew baker man hey awesome to see you here by the way so cool um, and I know you're the proud papa of a doctor, so super cool to see you here. Um, and it's reminding me I forgot to text my dad back today. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out number one and number two. Anybody who knows me could probably guess. I already forgot what it was. Oh, okay, okay. That you meant to say bourbon bites. Yeah, I was confused. Um, good. Yes, please. Um, uh, I, I mean, obviously, Independent Joe's still around. If if you can, if there's a wrench who can drop bourbon bites his link, like seriously, gives great reviews, knows his whiskey, and knows like a wide variety. And he also started a podcast. That's like nice and short, but informative. Like, boop. Here's the information for this week. It's Perfect. Um, I really dig it. So, okay. Sorry. You can probably guess who my top two are. <laughs> Pick the one that makes shame. It always makes me shame. Mm. And then we're going to figure out the giveaways. And I'm going to do that very efficiently, very fast. And y'all will get to see the whole shebang. So, in fact, as I do this, um, Oh, shit, that's good. Okay, no, I promise, I promise. A part of me wants to be biased, I promise. I would be um, honest with this. So, uh, oh, no, it's this. Okay. So, I don't know what you 
Oh, good. I'm so glad. I listened to it on Spotify. I don't have an iPhone, so I can't rate it on iTunes. But I, I legit, like, I love, I personally love that it's short and to the point. It's like, here's the fucking news about whiskey this week. I don't have a shit ton of time to donate, to spend on whiskey. But, like, whiskey news. <laughs> All the time in the world is spent on whiskey. Four giveaways, yes. So... Oh, what the fuck did I drink last? Cause Jesus, the burn. Woo! Oh, let's do that. So I feel like you care more about the giveaways than my order. So I will do the giveaways first. Uh, I'll do two of the giveaways, and then I'll do my order, and then I'll do the other two giveaways. Boom! Shagalaga. That's genius. Okay. Uh, let's share, share screen, that one, Ooh, suddenly it feels too bright. Okay, can you all see that? Here's the list. This is the giveaway for merch. This is everybody. So I'm gonna do the giveaway for merch uh, from whiskeymountains.com. So whoever wins can contact me via Instagram, Whiskey Mountains. Or email whiskey mountains whiskey dot mountains seven at gmail dot com. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is randomize it two times because that's faster than three times, and it's randomized. It's already a fucking thing. So um, now you get to see how that happens. God, it's all so tiny. I'm sorry. <laughs> this screen's tinier. There we go. So that's once, and now whoever is in number one on the second go is the one who gets to pick up any piece of merch off my website, and uh, I will get it to them. Case and sensibility, and you sent me a flight, which initially I was going to do this this month, but this was too funny. So next month, I swear I'm doing it. But taste and sensibility, you, uh, if you would like a piece of merch, and I can do some custom too, if you would like. Uh, check out whiskeymountains.com, pick something, and I will get it to you, buddy. Just message me, and you already have my email. Uh, merch. Okay? So now I'm going to do the patron one. So this one is just for patrons uh, as far as... I'm going to these. <laughs> as far as uh, the flight. So this is based on... You get how many entries... This was already randomized. You get entries based on your tier and how long you've been with me. I don't have a shit ton of time to give y'all all the perks that I would love to give y'all that other channels can. Um, oh, good, good. I'm so glad you're still here and saw an awesome. Oh, good, yeah, so pick one and let me know and I will get that to you, buddy. Um, so cool, yes. <laughs> uh, so, but, but I wanna do at least a patron giveaway every month and I can give y'all this. Uh, so what you win is a jack off with knob flight. So we're going to randomize this twice. Okay. And now you know why. Oh, because it's, there we go. So that's once and twice. Adam Dorman. How fucking perfect is that? Adam, you get the, the flight. Jack off the not flight. Um, he was the one earlier I mentioned evening drams on Instagram, like my first freaking patron, and um, just like such a long time. So, oh my god, I'm so fucking excited! Yes, so well deserved. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, like, I only have two ounce bottles, so this like it's a legit flight. You know, I, I give you two ounce samples of literally four of my favorite whiskeys. So. Okay, uh, so now's the order. Before I tell you who won the E.H. Taylor and the small batch, I'm gonna stop the screen share, boop, and give you my order. Mirazo, look at me building the drama. Uh, when I get drunk, I get a little more Spanish. Um, Puerto Rican here. Not Colombian like in Encanto, but there's so many great little things. Oh, Encanto's so good. I'm watching it after this, what time is it? Plenty of time. Only nine o'clock, plenty of time. 
I do have some mouse work tomorrow. Okay, so in fourth place is the, and I do, granted, it's a new bottle. It hasn't had as much time to open up, but this is, I'm sorry, I know the stupid thing is here. Um, the 131.1 proof Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof pick for fuck's sake, come up with a shorter name for this. Uh, that was my fourth place. Really enjoyed it. Mira esto. Look, I love you Mexicans. Love y'all. We ain't the same, bitches. <laughs> okay, Puerto Ricans have different food. Y'all have great food. We just have different food. That is also fucking delicious. Also, I just have to say this because I noticed it. This necklace, these earrings are from Livewire Whiskey and Women of Whiskeys, and they're my favorite. I don't wear jewelry often, but when I do, it's these. They're mountains, and it was just, I cannot tell you. I love this community so much. Um, okay, so third place was uh, Lob Creek. So this was ADHD's Lob Creek. It was his Knob Creek pick. I kind of picked this one because it does have, I know it has Kira. Oh, it's, it's sorry. It was seeing my face. There we go. It's got bourbon junkies. It's got, oh yeah, it's got David. It has uh, the podcast, ADHD, Destination Bourbon. So just be perfect. And this was a gift from ADHD. I greatly appreciate. Um, I might get to do a Knob Creek pick with matching or a uh, baker's pick with matching journey this year and maybe do a knob creek pick with story time oh i'm so excited okay second place so this is where it gets crazy so i'm about to reveal first place and second place everybody knows how much i love my knob creek i have a hat i just got two new mugs that i'm fucking stoked for i adore knob creek with all of my heart and soul uh Knob Creek 12 cast rank. This is the 120.5, not the 124.3 proof. Was second place. And it was in an independent Joe's. He's got awesome glens, by the way. Uh, and then, oh, speaking of story time, the winner was Corey Hill. So I'm sorry. You're more likely to find, I think, the Knob Creek 12 cast rank than the Coy Hill and at a better price. So if we took into price and all that bullshit, all the value and what are the fuck assholes on secondary want to do? Knob Creek wins, but just on taste and finish and everything alone, I'm being 100% honest here, Corey Hill won. So there you go. There is that, and now I can do the other two uh, winnings, but I want to acknowledge the chat. Oh, did we get to 100 likes? Fuck yeah. Make sure y'all are subbed. Uh, I definitely bring a different energy, <laughs> maybe to whiskey. Uh, and take it on the trail. I dance on the trail and shit. Uh, I love whiskey. I love the trail. I love the outdoors. That's why I live in Utah. Um, are there any Puerto Rican? Yes, yes. Nick, what was the name of that place? What was the name of that place? Suave? No. I was thinking of Rico Suave. What was the name of that place? Sofrito? Oh, Nick, if you remember the name of the place, like you got to drive to it. It's not like on the strip, but there is an amazing Puerto Rican place that we found in Vegas. Nick found it. It's so fucking good. Some of the best acapulia de carne I've ever had in my life. And that includes, you know, like at the little kioscos import. Oh, so good. Nick, if you remember the name, please. Mofongo is so good. Nick actually makes a pretty fucking good mofongo. Um, so, you know, <laughs> Exactly. Like, I loved this whole flight. This whole flight was so good. It's just proof I'm being honest. Are you telling me to calm down? <laughs> no entiendo. <laughs> I don't know. Sofrito Rico. Yes, that's the one. You've been there, William? It's so... That's legit Puerto Rican food. It's legit good. Everybody else there when we were there was Hispanic. Like, it's good. It's so good. Okay. Um, motherfucker, <laughs> just roll. <laughs> Jen's like, "What the fuck? Betrayed, sabotage." 
Uh, for me, that's a Star Trek reference. I know for everybody else, that's a Beastie Boys reference. Yes. Okay, y'all know. Y'all know. Yeah, that's the place. I was like, I thought I was making up Sofrito. It, it is. Okay, so I still have that in the glass. I think, uh, like, it's hard coming back down from such high proofs, you know, but it is, a, like, it competes. I know it's only 100 proof. It's overpriced, whatever, but, like, it's good. Okay, y'all want to know. Mira, it's, it's Taino. So Taino, we're the native. I don't, like, ever want to allow the natives to be forgotten. So uh, Taino were the natives there and then Spain. You know, Christopher, that was actually, I think it was the first island. Dipshit Christopher Columbus, the fucking asshole. Um, don't even get me started on bullshit Columbus Day. Uh, landed on. So, but yes, so Spain. That's why we speak Spanish. And have all this. Well, no, Taino's had dark hair too. Um, but yeah. So do it. <laughs> uh my jeep appreciates it because i'm gonna find out on wednesday how much he's about to cost me and i'm really fucking freaked out about it but my mom was like maybe it's time to think about getting a new car i was like maybe it's time to think about getting a new mom anyways <laughs> i love my jeep so fucking much okay so now let's find out who wins the eht small batch and then the boo rye i'm really stoked for this like i it really is I get to track giveaways all the time and that's always fun, but it's so much fun like getting to give y'all a bottle because I like fucking appreciate y'all so much. Also, hold on real quick, so frito. No fucking kidding. No, he's not. You're fucking with me. Is he really? Like, of course, but like, Mexicans, no flavor. That makes fucking a lot of sense. I wouldn't be mad about it, honestly. Like, Nick is German, <laughs> Russian, and he worked at a Puerto Rican restaurant and knows his fucking Puerto Rican food. So, um, well, rum finished, Angel Zibby. Uh, also, the drunker I get, the more Spanglish I get. Both my parents, their first language is Spanish. I'm not fluent. To like, let me be totally honest. Now let's share the screen again. There we go. Nope, not that one. That one. Oh, why is it so bright? Okay. So now this is. Oh, this is the one. Uh, okay. So we are going to twice again. This is going to be for the EHT small batch. Are you ready to rumble? Ah, Gregory McDonald. How perfect is that? So all my patrons got one entry automatically into tonight's giveaway. I'm so sorry if you also donated tonight. There was a few and I've had a few. I know I don't have great memory. But Greg, so Greg sent me in a, like one of my favorite Knob Creek picks ever sent me one just out of the graciousness of his own heart. And now I get to give him an EHT small batch. I hope he likes Buffalo Trace. <laughs> um, that was perfect. So he was fucking with me. I knew it. Fucking hermano. Like, like you know, fucking all brothers. All hermano. Toro. Oh, fucker. Anyways, I'm really excited for Greg McDonald. That was, that's, that makes me really happy. That's so perfect. And like, this was truly, he knows Shane Long and I got to meet up with Shane Long and I didn't get to meet up with him. And he sent me this Knob Creek and it's divine. It like is on its, I know I have Knob Creeks everywhere decorating. It's on its own little shelf and I love it. Uh, as like a go-to special night. Maybe I'll have some tonight with Encanto. All right, y'all are done with hearing how much I love Greg McDonald. So, uh, and he might not still be here, and that's 100% fine. I have people's emails. I got no problem with Mexicans. I got a problem with being called Mexican when I'm not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. Boricua. Okay. Now for the uh, this year's High West Burai, 
with the little cute tag and everything. Okay, uh, one of the few High West releases I actually like. Um, I did a review actually on Antelope Island, which was really fun. It was a camping trip I did by myself on Antelope Island last year, and I reviewed last year's Boo Rai. So if you want to check it out, uh, but this is state release only now, and actually it's not hit the liquor stores here yet. It, it Nick got this at the distillery. So, um, and I'm blessed enough that I get to give this away to y'all. So let us two randomizations and that person is going to win the giveaway. Woo, this, I've got a light over here. It's really bright. So I'm part squinting because of that. Okay, so we're going to randomize. Oh, let me... I only like to delete one, so yeah. there we go. Okay, so we're gonna randomize once, and now the second one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, but now, like y'all can see how 100% honest. Ah, this makes me so happy. William Davilar. Fucking William Davilar, who introduced me to Port Charlotte. I love the Davilars. Uh, Y'all just won the fucking High West Boo Ray. That's so fucking, ah, that's so good. I'm hoping to see y'all again, maybe soonish. Uh, oh my God, I had so much, we had so much fun visiting them. Boo Ray's unit, and now only, yeah, currently this is distillery only. Nick picked up a bottle for Dara from the average drinker, uh, and for us, and then one for a giveaway. So pretty fucking stoked. Actually, this one was supposed to be my best friend Koreans who were hiking together later in March. Uh, but hopefully it'll hit the stores and I can get hers by then. So sorry, Korean. Um, so I don't think he's in, but that is awesome. That is, oh, we're at 9.07. I didn't really mean to go past nine. Wow, I'm still over 60 viewers. That is very, I'm not going to start doing karaoke, though. Um, I was really, really nervous about tonight's stream. Not going to lie. But this was super fun. Uh, uh, yeah, congrats to all the winners. So happy Valentine's, happy Galentine's, happy fucking just Monday. <laughs> don't. Don't do anything, but if you do, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, like, for making one year possible. This was super fun. I'm going to cheers y'all with Koi Hill. And maybe later I'll pour Greg McDonald's pick and watch Encanto. So. You know, when you're so tipsy that instead of pressing in broadcast, you press leave studio. That's what just happened. Try that again. Salud! <laughs> it's been a year and I still haven't figured this shit out. <laughs>